Okay, hello. Um, today we'll be watching a video and I'll just be watching it and then um we you that's it that's 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 the whole video also i will be doing this accent the whole time let's see what we're going to watch oh look this is a funny one okay we're gonna watch dragon's den Let's see what we have here. The final entrepreneur to enter the den is Dublin-based Jamie Lawler, who's got a big idea for the little boys' room. Okay, so this guy is a pervert. Great, got it. All right, moving on. People think it's fun, it's a novel idea. When children are over visiting our house, we get calls later on from mothers to say, what's the story with your toilet? They, my child is telling me of the coolest toilet around. It is a fun idea, but this has global potential. It could be big. Those two have on exactly the same suit. Hello dragons, my name is Jamie Lawler and I'm here today with my simple invention that has retail potential. I'm hoping for- He has the same accent as the, the horse guy from Downton Abbey, the guy who takes care, the driver, the guy who drives the carriages. For a 40,000 pounds investment, in return I we need to we need to support the rebels in Ireland because there's a war happening and I'm gonna go back to Ireland to save my family that guy for a 20% share as a father of three young children I found my fair share of unflushed toilets children see um okay what I I've been flushing the toilet since I was born. I've never not flushed a toilet in my entire life. Like if you're, you have multiple kids that have already come out that aren't twins. That means they're, that means there's one of them that's at least three. It's still not flushing a toilet. Like boo, that's on you. Flushing the toilet as a chore. And we all know it's hard to get children. To Who thinks flushing a toilet is hard? Do something when it's a chore. So I thought, how could I turn that chore into a Yeah, play? she's like, mm, is it though? She's like, is it a chore smelling your own shit for a whole day? And that was the start of Kids Flush, a simple unit that sticks over the top of your existing toilet button held in place with suction cups. The large, colorful button is easy for children to press, giving that visual reminder. And of course, one more. Dude, it's already a button. You just put a button on another button, dude. Thing, we made it fun. Okay, oh my god, I'm literally scared right now. Children get that built in sound module cheer when played. So. Oh my god, like, I want a marching band every time I take a shit? Dude, no. <laughs> I am pre-trading, but design is done, testing is done, and tooling is started. So, I will pass out some samples, and I welcome any questions. Hoping to flush a few quid out of the dragons is Dublin-based Jamie Lawler. Does mine fanfare? They all do, the first one all fanfares, yeah. He's asking for £40,000 in return for a 20% stake in his kid-friendly loo flushing gadget. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You can turn them off by turning the button. I probably should have left them turned off. Stop now. Deborah Meaden wants to find out if the idea is more than just a flash in the pan. Jamie, I guess the first the first question is, um, is it just for children? Because I know quite a few adults who um, who like to hail the uh, the announcement of. Anyway, let's not go there. Wait, what? Oh my god! What the? What is she talking about? 
I know quite a few people who like to make the announcement. Maybe she's talking about her kids. I hope she's talking about her kids. This is getting into some really weird, like, I don't know if it's a fetish or what, but wow. (laughs) (laughs) Well, um, so pre-trading, that means that you've done, you've you've made it, um, you haven't sold any at all. Nope. Have you talk to any retailers, anybody who's actually liked to sell it? I've provisionally spoken to retailers and the, the feedback that I got was, hey, that's fantastic, when can we have stock and can you leave samples with me? So which retailers have you spoken to? It was somebody actually who used to work for, for Tesco. And how much were they sell for? £12, a retail for £12. And how much did they cost you to make? £3. Fully boxed? Fully boxed. I think my ideal would be to get into retail and possibly position it as an impulse buy so it would be hanging in a supermarket next to the pull-up nappies and it's, it's a kind of case of when they're doing the shopping, they'll pick it up. The Dublin-based entrepreneur reveals his retail aspirations for his novelty product. With a household of five children, tech tycoon Peter Jones knows more than most about the issue at hand. But does he think the toilet idea holds water? Jamie, in essence, you've invented a a button that goes on top of a button. Is yeah. that not what I just... OK. A button for a button. A button for a button. Yeah. I'm going to tell you straight away, I, th- I think it's crazy. There's two things you should know about kids when you know. Firstly, getting them going to the loo is one thing, but once you've got to that age, and they do, when they get off that toilet seat, they tend to just rush out. They're not going to rush out and think, oh, I've got to go back and press that, because it's... They'll do it once or twice and then get bored. Yes, it has worked in our house. We've had it on our toilet and it's worked. (laughs) Our children flush the toilet now. I think you just need to tell your kids to flush the toilet. (laughs) You've got a product. Jamie, it's bordering on the ridiculous. I disagree with him. I think, I think you've got something here. And I, I remember when my children were much younger and I was always going behind them to flush the loo. Yeah. But this makes it fun. And I think most children would say to their mummies, I want to go to the loo because I want to flush it. Exactly. Oh my God, I just want to know, like, what kids are, like, having issues flushing a toilet is this a real thing i feel like i have i have no memory of like using a toilet like i can get on it and i can wipe and i can do all that but then i just can't press a button afterwards like if you can use a toilet you can flush a toilet that's kind of how it works i feel like these kids are like they're not getting enough attention and they're using their own shit to like try to just like I don't know dude yeah correct I mean that's the idea do you have any other ideas for any other products we do yeah we do have some thought around um, getting children to wash their hands I suppose the idea is to kind of bring fun to everyday tasks for children I hate to ask what you're gonna do for that well we might make the water glow or the soap glow the kids flush finds a friend in the den in Tuka Suleiman Plans to diversify into other products should be music to a dragon's ears. Is Nick Jenkins tuned in or about to drop out? It's a very well-made product. Yeah, that's that's the prototype. I'm amazed that's... by how heavy it is. Yeah. It, it, it's very nicely made. But um, in short, I guess this is a product, not a business, really. And it, it's just really too limited to be of, to be of interest. Um, So this is just boring, so I'm just going to end it there.